Hello everyone, my name is Alan Skoda and today we're gonna play around with the visibility notifier. I'm gonna show you how you can make a node signal you, let you, letting you know when it has left the screen or entered the screen. And for this example I'm going to be using the 2D version, however, you can do the exact same thing for the 3D version. So, what I have added in our project is simply an image of our cannonball, which we are gonna detect whether or not it has left the screen. So if you wish to follow along the tutorial, feel free to just download the little image in the description below. Let's open a new project here. So what I'm going to create will be our cannonball first. Actually that will be everything we're gonna make, so... Let me select a rigid body 2D for this example. This allows us to just play the scene and it will just slowly fall. So let's rename the rigid body 2D to cannon underscore ball. Now in our cannonball node we want another node and that is a sprite. Otherwise we have no idea of knowing whether or not it has left the screen without looking at the output or the debugger. Now in our inspector here I'm gonna select a texture, I'm gonna select load, I'm gonna find our cannonball and double click it. And there it is. So let us start, start by adding our visibility notifier. Let's find the node visibility notifier. Now the one we want is this one. So let's select our visibility notifier 2D. Now you see this rectangle here. Well this is this is the boundary box that will determine whether or not it has entered or left the screen. So if we were to hold the left shift and left alt at the same time and drag this to make it bigger, this will make the threshold for whether or not it has entered or left the screen greater. Meaning if I were to select a cannonball pressing W or this little button here allowing us to move everything without dragging things out of place. We can see now that this is our window, this is where, uh, what we will view, this is our viewport. So when this ball falls down and hits the edge like this, this will trigger a signal on the visibility notifier called enter screen. So if you were to fall all the way down here and leave right there, it will notify you with another signal that it has exited the screen. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create both of them. First I'm gonna show you how to do it from the editor, how to make it easy for you to add this signal. So I'm gonna right click our cannonball, I'm gonna add a script to our cannonball and just name it cannonball.gd and hit create. I'm going to remove all commenting and then I'm going to get the reference to our visibility notifier. Now one way of getting our reference is using on ready var, let's name this visibility notifier, get underscore node and inside node you can just enter visibility notifier Notifier 2D and this will work because this is directly a shell of our script node. But I'm gonna show another way of doing it and let's use export and parenthesis node path type and let's name this. I'm gonna copy this and paste it by pressing Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste in case you didn't know. I'm gonna name this visibility notifier path. I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna paste this in here and this allows you to select the editor and just select the node path of with the node we wish to get the reference of. So let me double click visibility notifier. Now if you don't see this script variables and this built-in notifier path in the editor after selecting our cannonball, it means there's probably some error here somewhere and then you will have to fix it. So let's go back to our cannonball here. Now let us select our visibility notifier. Let us double click exit screen. This will pop up a new window that will ask you where you want this new signal connected to. And the node we want to connect it with is our cannonball, because that's where our script is attached. And the method will be called on visibility notifier to the exit screen. And that's a good enough name. So let's just connect that. And this will create the function here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the path here, I'm gonna print. I has left the building. Okay. So let us press Ctrl S to save the scene or hit scene and save scene. Let's just keep the default cannonball TSCN and hit save. Let us now hit F6 or this little button to play our edited scene. Now we should see it fall and when it falls out of the screen it should trigger a message I has left the building. And that's how you do it, it's quite easy isn't it? But that's only half the job, let's find out when it enters the screen using code. So I'm gonna select a cannonball, make sure this is selected and drag it all the way up. I'm gonna go into the script editor here. And inside ready here, I'm gonna use the reference of our visibility notifier. I'm gonna paste it in. And I'm going to use a function called connect. And inside connect, the signal name goes first, which is called enter screen. Now, if you don't know the names of the signals, you can click search help and just enter visibility notifier, and then you can find the class. And inside the class here, you have a list of signals which it will use. So what we want is enter screen. So let's go back into script here. 
So we want to connect the signal into screen with ourself and the method that we want to receive it in is I'm gonna copy this here and I paste it in here and I'm gonna change exit to enter to keep some consistency and once again I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna go down here create a new function and just paste it in again and now we have our enter screen function so I'm gonna print so let's go back into our scene here now this is outside of our viewport so if we hit play edit the scene now it should fall all the way down and trigger our first message and then our last exit message here's Johnny I has left the building and that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, that's the main purpose of this node, is to notify you whether or not it's visible, if you can see it or not, in your screen here. So, I hope that was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you in a future video. Feel free to leave a comment to let me know if I missed something, or if you know other ways of using this node. Bye-bye!